<clears throat> Alright, what's going on guys? It's uh, J-Dog RC. So, this video is basically going to be an update video. A short update video. I'll try to make this quick. So, been doing some work in the garage, right? Got my uh, workbench and everything. Uh, got a lot of shit. Uh, yeah. Got the... Uh, my friend's Rustler 4x4, and that also, that stands a Stampede 4x4, and that belongs to my friend. Got the Sport Max up there, not running. I say, fuck it, I'm just going to use that for a pile of parts. I don't want it no more, it's a piece of shit. I mean, yeah. Nitro Rustler. Um, the other day, I just cleaned the carburetor. Alright. Uh, it was pretty fucking nasty. <clears throat> So, we got a nice clean carb in there now. Everything is all cleaned out. All right, it's all good, so, you know. And uh, in a couple days, on Wednesday, on the 14th here, my, uh, my bestest friend of all fucking time is coming over. And me and him are going to drive some RCs and ride some fucking dirt bikes, okay? So, hell yeah. <clears throat> now, y'all haven't seen this yet. I haven't made a video of this yet. But, this is basically... This truck, this is my all-time favorite. My dream truck right here. I've wanted a V1 e Revo since I can fucking remember. Now I don't care what anyone says. I think the I think the V1 looks so much better. Like the body, it's kind of shit though. Like it's all beat up and shit. Got zip ties holding it together. Uh, it's all cracked and shit. Fat crack going down the side. But you know, I don't care. I don't I don't drive it too much. But like, basically, I took the motor I had in this, put it in that Rustler 4x4. All right. So now we got now we have a 6S Rustler 4x4 and uh an E-Revo that needs a motor. But yeah, I also gotta get a rear diff. I took the rear diff out. There's a you can't even fucking see it, but there's nothing in there. It's a it's a fucking hollow bulkhead, bro. Emptied out, you know. So I need a new diff case because I keep breaking the diff case. I I tried using spiral cut diffs and they never work because as it turns whether you put this on the front or rear there's no like there's no there there is no front and rear they don't mark it right and they're you know like the front diff is still stock everything in it is stock i've only taken it apart once when i got the truck i got this as a rolling chassis with no tires and you know, basically as it is now, without the brace, it didn't have this nice-ass fucking Savox servo, you know. And uh, I don't have a receiver in it right now because I used it for the Nitro Rustler because the one that came with it got fucked because I accidentally spilled a little bit of Nitro on it and it just, it said goodbye. So, there we go. And these are the original tires from that Sport Max. And I believe that body is an original from, I think, like 2003. I don't know for sure, but I just know it's a Sport Max, so it's got a single speed and no reverse. But yeah, <clears throat> yeah, this is my uh, you know this is my all time favorite dream truck. You know, <clears throat> I love it so much more than the 2.0 E Revo. The E Revo 2.0 I think is fucking ugly. Um, to be honest, to be quite quite honest with you, um, I don't I don't care if this has differential problems. I ran a stock diff in this with, well, I had the Talon tires on it, but they're gone because I ran them on the street, but I had the stock diff in the rear, right, running 6S, had it geared to go about 55. That diff lasted about a month until, until it fucking shredded into bits, but it only shredded into bits once I put bigger tires on it. So basically what I'm saying is it's possible to run 6S in this truck and not, not shred the rear diff, you know, like, you just gotta, gotta have that throttle control, you know what I mean? 
and I got these fucking nice steel drive shafts, bro. But uh, you know, these are these are the Traxxas, uh, the Traxxas drive shafts right here. The steel, the fucking rubber boots keep ripping off, dude. Like I fucking hate that shit. Like I love the look of the stock, like everything stock, full stock look. When like eventually, I want to make this car fully stock, with the exception of the chassis brace and other shit like that. But I want to put stock drive shafts, center drive shafts are going to be stock. Right now I got the uh, steel ones on there. <clears throat> here's the uh, here's the OG, bro. Yeah, you already know. But this is my dream truck right here, right? I'm never I'm never going to fucking get rid of this shit. And I'm probably not going to run it too much. I mean, I've been doing some wheelies and shit, you know. Got that wing all scratched up, but... Anyway, back to the spiral cuts. When I put spiral cuts in there, on the rear, on the rear, the gears like to push apart because of that spiral shape. When they turn, they push apart. Uh, but on the front, if you put a spiral in the front, you know, like basically, for spirals in the rear, this should be this should be cut in the opposite direction, so the teeth should be going this way. Uh, not this way, you know, um, need to be going the other way, uh, because when this turns with the rear, <clears throat> the gears are pushing, they're, they're pushing against each other, like they're, uh, they're pushing apart, um, and what happens is that causes a lot of heat in the bearings, in the differential case, and I broke the differential case, And I've gone through three cases doing this. So here's the diff case. And right there, it gets this nice fucking split in it. And I've had another time where this whole back end completely went and ripped off. Uh, and I blew out one of my bearings. Um, so I ordered some bearings for this thing. And I'm going to get a new motor in ESC and all that shit. Going to get a fucking uh, Castle Sidewinder 8th system. Okay, so yeah, uh, and then like if you put this spiral cut on the front, it pulls the gears together as it turns, uh, because of the direction it's turning and all that shit. I'm just leaving this gear on there, because, so I, you know, I don't want to take it off until I get the new shit, you know, but I'm going to put, I'm going to put a stock, another stock diff in the rear, Get my fucking motor ESC and shit. I'm going to run stock gearing, right? 18 tooth pinion, 65 tooth spur, right? This thing uses 32 pitch gears, not mod one. It's a, it's a real OG, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but here's the underside, bruh. Not too bad. Drive shafts. Flippity flopping. Uh, I... Put a true track rear arm kit on this thing, right? Like this shit. Right? Gets gets rid of the toe links. Uh but with that on there, uh the drive shafts right here kept coming out of the diff the cups right in there. Uh and I didn't like that. So I just put the stock back on. Uh and I don't I don't run this thing hard enough to you know, fucking destroy it. Uh, <clears throat> I don't jump this truck. I just, you know, drive it nice and nice and nice, pretty, you know. Now, update on the fucking dirt bikes. Got my Yamaha. This is a TTR 230. I don't know what year. Uh, I just know it's an old bitch. And it's been sitting outside for a couple years. And, uh, yeah. I just get my flashlight on here. So basically, behind this cardboard piece, I don't have plastics for this. Like, I, well, it's got most of the shit. It's got rear fender, seat, fucking fairings, front fender. Which, the front fender is, I got it held on with fucking zip ties. It's loose as shit. Uh, and it's, it's torn up. Like, you can, I can basically just chip it away. Uh, cause it's, it's been eaten up by the sun. So, yeah, uh, got oh my god a fucking rooster man so behind here is where the battery would go but i don't use a battery i don't have a battery for this right now <laughs> let me tell you let me show you what i got see that plug right there yeah so basically i got zip zip tie right here so i put a couple zip ties through these holes 
I put a lipo right there and plug it in right here. And then I got my funky and electric start. Not working because I don't have a battery. But basically, when this thing runs, it charges up the battery like, like crazy fast. So I got to put, every time I put a new battery on here, it's got to be a dead battery. All right. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, got a brand new carburetor in there, right? I recently cleaned that, too. I don't have an air filter for it, too, though. See what I got in there? That is uh, that is mesh from a uh, a window screen, okay? But uh, I don't care. I really don't care. I mean, like, I'm, I'm you know, got to be saving up my money right now. I'm going to get a new... Uh, Air filter, a new air box. Got to get a new air box because I don't have the cover. I'm missing a lot of shit from the uh, old one that's in there. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, man. It's fucking, it runs, you know, and I don't have an exhaust, too. I didn't mention this. It's just a header pipe, right? Open header. So I run it like that, and it's got plenty of power, and it's it's hella loud, though. Like, it is, it is fucking loud as shit. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we've been cleaning up the fucking garage a little bit. It's a fucking mess. Uh, got the got fucking bay one and bay two cleared out, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, real soon, uh, this Wednesday, June 14th, right? I'm going to make a video of the Nitro Rustler, and me and my buddy are going to run that fucking Rustler 4x4. Going to run these Rustlers, run these Rustlers, all right? Uh... Yeah, but you know, I'll try to keep updates coming on the E-Revo. I've, you know, I got this fucking thing like, I don't know, 10 months ago or something like that. Uh, and I just, I never made a video on it. But yeah, you know, I just, you know, this is my, this is my dream truck, all right? So, I don't care what anyone says, you know. I don't, I don't care if this thing, uh, you know, shreds differentials and shit, I don't, you know. You just got to go easy on it, you know? And I don't need to fucking... I'm not... I didn't get this to bash it. I got this to fucking, like, go... You know, I want to drive it, but... Also, I want to just put it on my shelf and let it sit forever. So I could just... Yeah. Like, I love the way the V1 Erevo looks so much more than the way the 2.0 looks. Yeah, and I got the suspension. It's a little suspension's a little high right now, but you know, once we get all the batteries and all that motor and shit in there, yeah, it'll go back down. You know what I mean? I hate it. Listen, I fucking hate it when people they jack up their E Revos like all the way up. Fucking looks ugly, bro. It looks so much better when it's low and it's sitting fucking nice and low and shit. You know? Because that's how it's supposed to fucking be, dude. Like, yeah, I get it's a fucking monster truck, but it's like. It's more like a fucking truggy, dude, to be honest with you. It's a fucking, it's a muggy. It's a monster truck truggy, bro. And it's not, you know, <clears throat> I think it just looks hella ugly when you put this fucking suspension all the way up. Like, it's just, it's not right, you know. It's not the way it was meant to be. But, you know, then again, it's just, you know, it's your car, do what you want with it, right? So, yeah. Well, that'll, uh, that'll conclude the update video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed.